traffic stop, that's good for her. We're in the doghouse. This is Steven, Captain Martin, Evan, and myself. We're in pa Palm Beach Gardens, and we're going to exit from the Donald Ross Bridge, which is opening up for us. The Donald Ross Bridge is opening up for the doghouse. That's the name of this boat, Doghouse 4. Woof, woof. Um, and we're at Palm Beach Gardens. Opening, opening. There's Evan. It's very hot. There's Steve. Captain Martin doesn't want to be tagged in anything, so. Super happy. This is like six and a half years ago that I left Florida, so it's sort of like full circle for me. With my first boat, Gypsy Cat, and going through the canals with Chris. So I love Florida. I love the canals, the hot weather. Most of the time, the people are friendly. There's the bridge. And this is a fast Beneteau, which I lived on a Beneteau for two and a half years. Can't get away from these bendy toys. docks. That's sort of nice. Oh, very nice. I can't imagine living in a house with a dock. It's sort of boring. <laughs> yeah. I love looking at houses. Steve will jump. Oh, we don't have to own it? Yes. It's hard to do both hands, but okay. Okay, I'm shooting this because the rigger came and the shrouds are um, Tristan. So he's gonna come back and fix it, but this is just proof that, um, what's the day today? Friday? And this is the quality of work he did. That's proof. And we're at the Selfish Marina, right there.
mostly with savings. That when Chris and I bought our boat, our Gemini catamaran, 13 years ago, I think 13 years ago, most of the money went to me when we sold the boat because we got almost the same exact amount. We did actually, except for the um, except for the agent fees, and they get like I can't remember 13 percent, 8 percent. So we got almost all our money back during that time. Chris was borrowing a lot of money, so most of the money of the sale of the boat went to me. So I have been able to travel very cheaply on a budget. So my whole travel is not about going to resorts. It's not about eating fancy restaurants. It's about traveling and getting the most of, out of your money. And even hobo, hobo traveling, like camping and just sleeping anywhere you can find, because I love to camp. So one of the highlights to me to be anywhere is um, out in nature. So a lot of people won't be able to camp, but if you're able to camp, places like Hawaii, Hong Kong, you can go camping for free. Well, I think Hawaii you pay a small fee. I didn't go camping in Hawaii. So all my travels now is very cheap. I couch surf, I stay at other people's homes, but it's not even saving money that I do that. I just love meeting locals. I'm in Alligator Alley. Do you see that alligator? It's like a well, five foot. He's moving slowly. Pretty cool. Ah, get closer. Oh no, he, now he's camouflaged. Where'd he go? <laughs> well, that's, that's the problem with the alligators. Yeah. Uh, they do a very good job of camouflage. Because that's the biggest problem we have. See, oh, the yep. alligator, he's hiding. Yep. Once, once people see them, yes, then a big fish in the mm. There's a lot of big fish in here. Really. There's the alligator. Around five foot. Ooh, it's so cool. He's the one that was hiding in the... It's the alligator. He's just hanging out around five foot. That's what said. they do, they just hang out. Look at his eyes. They're opportunists. They can lay motionless for hours. Uh-huh, an hour. and then they snap. And then that's exactly... You got the whole routine. I'm a very lazy vi video person and on YouTube I'm super busy currently I'm in the Philippines this is me here and now but a lot of the videos you will be seeing is backlogged since Australia which is maybe three years ago so I'm maybe two and a half three years behind so that's why it, it looks confusing but if you look at the time frame I was in Australia three years ago. Then we went to Indonesia. We sailed to Indonesia. We spent six months there. And then Paul and I sailed to the Philippines. It's gonna be like back, forth, back, forth, um, past, future, oh, present, past, present. So hopefully you guys can keep up and it's sort of like a mind game. So that's where I'm at. I'm a gypsy hobo, so I'm unplanned, unorganized, but hopefully we get more videos out. And thank you for watching. Dana Point was where I first took my first sailing course. We only took one. Um, you can see it over there. You can see the small sailboats. It's the Saddleback Community College basic sailing course. So I took that maybe 14 years ago, me and my ex-boyfriend, my brother and his ex-girlfriend. So you take out a small boat, two people, you can fit six people. Sorry, my voice. Hey, I look at that sailboat coming in. So on the weekends, you can anchor here for free. So when my boyfriend and I, um, he got his 24-foot McGregor or first sailboat, it was only $10,000 in cash. You're allowed to anchor for free. I don't know if the rules changed. But look at that sailboat coming in. 
his boat was about that size, maybe a little bit bigger, 24 feet blue. It was called Angel. So I love coming here to look at the sailboats coming in and out. And I never thought I'd be sailing and living on a sailboat for that long. So I just love the harbor. This is Dana Point Harbor. And me and my cousin in high school would sit there and talk about life, talk about love, and all these things. Okay, those that look like they fish. Uh -huh. Okay, you talk about fishing, it will be okay. Okay. Nice. Good workout. I need to do something like that on the boat. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh -huh. And focus on the sailboat going in okay, there so yeah. you can do that. Okay.
um, do current videos. So now we have more of a plan on me sending him more current information. So this is going to be confusing for you guys. So it's going to be like back, forth, back, forth, um, past, future, oh, present, past, present. So hopefully you guys can keep up and it's sort of like a mind game. So that's where I'm at. I'm a gypsy hobo, so I'm unplanned, unorganized, but hopefully we get more videos out. And thank you for watching because YouTube has closed down many channels, so it's hard to get momentum going. But anyone, thank you for watching my crazy travels.
the videos and um, do current videos so now we have more of a plan on me sending him more current information so this is gonna be confusing for you guys so it's gonna be like back forth back forth um, past future oh, present past present so hopefully you guys can keep up and it's sort of like a mind game so that's where I'm at. I'm a gypsy hobo, so 
I'm unplanned, unorganized.